<laughs> what are we doing right now? Waiting for a phone call. From who? From someone who might rebrand and give us a new logo. Oh, man. So I'm super nervous. I'm just waiting. Be a big girl, Stephanie. Hello? Hello, is this Stephanie? This is. Hey, Stephanie, it's Harrison. How are you? Really just get a sense of the, the feel, the emotional delivery that you might want in your new brand. I think what we're kind of going for is that nostalgia feel, like maybe a little vintage, but also kind of like hip and a little bit of modern touch to it want them to feel welcome. Um, I feel like um, that's one of the reasons why we named it Dwell, you know, is to kind of feel like you're at home or kind of like maybe you're visiting grandma for a biscuit and coffee to meet up and talk. We like a lot of earthy tones and a lot of stuff like that. Um, I think for the future of Dwell, I would think we'd want to carry that no matter where we went, like with the modern meets vintage kind of style. Okay. So, uh, we got a mix between vintage and modern. We want it to feel like Grandma's house, but not all like the bad smells of Grandma's Correct. house. Correct. Like, maybe incense burning of some nice, like, modern kind of touches and flares, you know, not yeah. as much. Like, if we have earth tones, It'll be earth tones like a grandma's house, but since right. everything is drab, it's going to be like white walls with some touches of like grandma's house. Exactly. Know, grandma's uh, house exactly. Table. I even I have a photo of like a mock-up of our bar, what it's going to look like that I think could really help you like understand and visualize what kind of vibe it is. Taylor, tell me if I'm right here. Like 80 modern, 20 vintage, or maybe 70, 30. Like closer to 70-30, but Ta we're thinking okay. Maybe so I think 25. maybe 75-25. I have my little helper designer friend here with me, who's also an employee, so he's helping me along with the process. So I would say 75 modern, 25 percent with the vintage touch. Cool. That's, those are good numbers. Okay. I like that. Perfect. Um, okay. Let's see what else. Um, do we want it to stay? Well, coffee and biscuits? Good question. Um, I have that in my notes. Yeah, good. No, you're fine. Um, I think we were discussing keeping dwell like Maine and then secondary coffee and biscuits, but then on the other side of that coin, we feel like people don't really know what dwell is or what that means, so having coffee and biscuits kind of tells them what, they, what we are. So I, I'm not 100% sure what the best route would be, I kind of feel like coffee and biscuits needs to be in there, but maybe not like every single logo or every single variation. You know what? I'm pretty much open to anything you're going to throw me, Harrison. I am an open book. Totally. Me too. Me too. Okay, that's, that's good. Yep, yeah, I'll tell you this much. Um, so, the, the problem people have with logos with branding is mm -hmm. um, they can make it a little too personal. It's, it's too, and it happens to the best of us, even the the like designers who are at the top in their field at branding, but then like go and start their own business, they fall in the same mistakes that their clients fall into that they get frustrated with because it all affects us right. on a personal level whenever we're the owners and this is our child right. and we want this thing to succeed. There's like how you view it and what you know about Dwell and the way like the rest of the world views it um, and how they understand it. And often the owner is like five steps ahead on their vision than right. like the rest of the world is on like the perception of right. that company. And so in turn, what happens a lot is, uh, so in this case, um, I use Dwell as an example. You're not doing it, you're doing great. But <laughs> some people will say, um, Dwell might one day be more than just coffee and biscuits. So let's just like have Dwell only or Dwell in a tagline that isn't descriptive. So okay. I would say we want a tagline that's definitely going to be very specific 
and then no because branding in general needs to communicate clearly and directly Correct. in like two seconds yeah. with the help of nothing else understanding what you do what the right. business is primarily and then all the other things you do like merchandise and that fun stuff is what is the romance of your brand not the communicator of it.